Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device Tutorials. Here I'm going to fix a uh, soft bricked um, Nexus 7 2013 edition. Uh, hopefully we will get this uh, unlocked. We will get it uh, up to date with the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and uh, it'll all be working smooth. Right now the, the device when you first turn it on comes straight into bootloader mode and if you try to restart into the OS it just sits at the Google screen and will not move. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is the lock state says locked. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to have to fix. Okay, now you're going to need ADB and Fastboot as well as um, the drivers for the Nexus. Um, sorry for the camera kind of doing its thing. Let's get it focused. Okay, um, so first thing you're going to want to do is Fastboot OEM unlock okay and what that'll do is that'll unlock the bootloader so you see that the state right now shows locked so we'll hit enter it's gonna ask to confirm you're gonna use the arrow key or the um, arrow key the volume buttons to go up to yes to confirm it and the power button to select it when you select it you won't see anything happen on this but you will notice on the computer it is unlocking the bootloader. It says erasing user data. Now, once this is done, I'll show you that it's unlocked, although we will relock it when the whole process is complete for security reasons. Okay, so it's done. Now if you look at the device, it shows unlocked. Okay, see down bottom, lock state unlocked. Okay, so now we can actually flash the new image. So we downloaded the image from uh, Google and I'll have a link to that as well. But basically what we're going to do is we unzip the image until we get five or six files, whatever, whatever it comes out once you get the tar and then you unzip the tar and then it goes to, a, uh, to about five or six files. And you'll put those in your ADB fastboot folder. Okay. From here we just have to type flash-all.bat because there's a batch file in there. And we will hit enter and you'll see the process starting. It says writing bootloader, doing all the stuff that it has to do. It says it can't find certain files. It, it's not a big deal. Just leave it be. Um, you'll see that the tablet just kind of sits here and things look like it's frozen. It will look frozen. Just leave it be. Wait it out. Now, what will happen is when it's complete, it will reboot the tablet on its own. I'll hold it kind of off to the side here. Okay, now you see the tablet's rebooting on its own. It says that the process is done, so we can just hit any key. It'll close that out. Now we're on tablet. Now, first uh, boot will take a little while. because the process takes a bit. We'll go ahead and set this down. Just point at it so you can kind of see what's going on. And this already, we didn't show you earlier, but this is already further than it got before before it was kind of stuck at the bootloader. It would get to the where it says Google and it would just sit there. And there we go. That took longer to actually boot up on its first boot than it did to flash the image. So um, <clears throat> now from here you have, it's just like you bought it right out of the box. It's completely empty, nothing left on it. You can start your uh, setup process. We'll go ahead and connect and get any updates that are available um, on here. But that is the process. If you have any questions or if you're stuck in a different part, um, feel free to let us know and I will uh, do my best to explain how to get to the bootloader screen from wherever you're, you're stuck. Um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.